Okay, so let's say that I'm working in InDesign and I finished my business card and then I want to take the graphics that I've created and very easily use them again to create letterhead and an envelope. Well, that's actually very easy to do. So I have my front and I have the back of my card right here. So what I want to do is now inside of my pages, I can add a new page and I can actually change the size of it. And this is how I would do that. So I would create a new page. Um, I'm going to take this page, pull this down. Okay, actually, I'm not going to worry about that just now. Hold on for a minute. Let me go back. Create a new page. I'm going to click none. I'm not going to apply a master to it. And I'm going to create it. Now, here I have this page. Um, and I might just want to turn off the grid so I can come to view, grids and guides. And I am going to hide my baseline grid. And I am going to come on in and hide my document grid. All right, great. So now what I want to do is I want to change the size of this. I have my business card size already done. Now I want to do a paper size. Well, how do you go about changing just one of your pages? Well, it's real easy actually. You can come on in and the page tool shift. We just click onto it and we can see that this changes and then we get this one over here and I'm going to actually just change it to a letter. Okay. Oops. And I can see that here we have the letter eight and a half by 11. Now I'm going to create a, another page. I want to base it on no master. I'm going to create. And here we have this page. And again, I can change this one as well. And I actually have an envelope built in. Uh, let me show you how you would go about if you didn't have that built in. So again, create a new page. This is what you would do. You would just come on in. You would come to custom the size for the envelope that I'm using. And you can look it up uh, go to any website that you that you would like to actually um, actually go to Staples or Office Max, one of those websites, and look for the standard envelope size. So I'm going with 8.875 by 5.875. I'm going to name this one Envelope Two. I hit OK. All right, and actually what I needed to do is I wanted to apply this to that. Well, it's real easy. Watch this. Now that I've created, I can just come on in envelope two, and there we have it. Now we can go in and we can start taking our design elements from up here and copying them and pasting them in different spots. So I'm going to click out of there. I don't want to be in um, the page tool shift tool anymore. And I'm going to come on into this page, and I want to zoom in a little bit. I already have this grouped, so I'm going to click onto this, edit, copy. I'm going to come on down to this page right here. I'm going to zoom in just a tad bit. I'm going to edit, paste. There I have this. Now, again, I'm going to really work with the um, sizing of this. Um, I can come back up to my business card up here. I can click on illustration design, edit, copy. I can come on down to this page right here, edit, paste. There I have this. So I could use this. Again, I might want to, I definitely would work with the structure and how it's laid out. Come on into my envelope, edit paste. Probably I need a return address though. Uh, come back on over into here, click, edit, copy. Come on back down to my envelope, edit paste. Uh, same kind of thing. Putting this up in this corner. Whole thing's going to need to change with the size though. So as I came on up into here, how would I change the size? Well, I think we all know this actually very easily. Um, so I'm going to come in, make this a little bit smaller, holding down shifts. There we go. And making this a little bit smaller. Okay. Then again, you know, coming on in, control click, fitting, fit content proportional. I don't want that to be warped. Again, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller to fit. Control click, right click on the PC, and I'm going to fit content proportionally. Same kind of thing. I can make this much smaller, and I can do the same thing. 
Yeah, now my type is running over, so I need to work with the size of the type and all that good stuff. But I think I think you get the idea. Um, what else I might even want to do is actually move it out. But what I want you to to take a look at here is that it's real easy uh, to come in, copy our elements, and start changing things around and making them work. So let me go and preview this. So come to view. Screen mode, presentation, here's my envelope, my letterhead so far. I definitely want this to be a little bit bigger maybe. Business card, business card, business card front, front, business card back, letterhead, beginning of envelope. All right, so there we have it. This was an overview of uh, the page tool shift, really working with the page tool here and laying out different sized pages within one project. Thanks for listening.